What's up guys, Matty here at MixandMasterMySong.com. Today we have something super special. It's the Antares Auto-Tune FX Plus. Now, it is a regular Auto-Tune plugin that you can tune your vocals with, but the real special part about this plugin is the effects side of it. It now has vocoders, doublers, um, filters, pitch modulation, all kinds of different special effects to make your vocals sound like an alien or you know some crazy filtered thing, whatever you want to do with it. Really, really cool stuff. It's also got another feature called Auto Motion, which allows you to create sequences for your vocal. It gives it kind of that EDM sound where a vocal sounds more like a, an instrument than a vocal. So anyway, we're gonna go over all that today. Before we do get started, please make sure to subscribe so you get all of my videos as soon as they come out. Let's go. All right, guys, so here's a song we're working on. Um, it's by my buddies, Emily and Adam. Uh, they just released this EP that I had the pleasure of mixing and mastering. And what I'll do is I'll put the link in the description below if you want to check them out. Really, really good music. And here is the new Auto-Tune FX Plus. So what it's got is the regular Auto-Tune that you, you would get. More so in the Access plugin than the Pro. It's, it's a bit limited in the Auto-Tune features. But you get Retune Speed, Human Eyes, and then you can pick the key in the scale you want as, as well as the input type. It also works with the Auto-Tune Key plugin, um, which can help detect the key of the song. And if you're interested in that stuff, I'll put a, a link to my Axis review in the description and uh, above here right now. Um, but the real special part about this is the Auto-Tune Effects part and the Auto Motion part. So let's go through this Auto-Tune Effects first. What it is is a bunch of different effects that you can put on the vocal and it will give it all kinds of sound like, you know, vocoders and doublers. All the effects can be add accessed through this patches section. So you have a bunch from Antares themselves. Then you have a couple um, artist presets too from Jeff Rona, Mike Dean, and Richard Devine. So let's check out the Antares ones first. And let's go to the vocoder. Um, actually, before I play that, let's just play her vocal by itself, just with regular tune on it. Uh, so you can hear just what the vocal sounds dry, basically. So you can hear that when we turned it up. We got a real hard tune. We actually didn't even use auto-tune on her vocal for the mix, but need it for the for the demonstration here. So let's turn on one of these vocoders and see what it sounds like now. Pretty crazy. Now you have a vocoder. Now some of the notes bend differently and that's you know just you're gonna have to adjust your retune speed to get it right. But you can also change all these uh, effects that populate here. You see when we when we pick a new one, the effects po uh, populate differently. Well, they won't here because they're all vocoders. But um, and you'll see when you click here, this little X Y section changes. So for the vocoder, you can switch the center speech this way and the vocoder mix that way. So now let's play it and mess with this a bit. You can get really crazy with it. Um, you can switch the filter here. So if you wanted to filter it off. And you can turn them on and off as well too. So tons you can do with this. And the vocoder is really great. Um, like I said, you just got to play with it to get it to be perfect. So pretty, pretty cool to have vocoder be able to uh, pull vocoder right up like that now. Um, then it's got these other ones. So there's extreme effects, tube and amp effects, pitch and throat, mutation, tons of stuff. The duet ones I really dig. Um, you can get like a doubler effect, uh, a double vocal effect just by using this. So let's check out this tight double. Boom, 
boom, right away, it sounds like a double. And if it's a little too affected, you have a mix knob up here, you can dial it back a bit. So super cool stuff. And then um, you also have these other ones, like Mike Dean's one of my favorites. He's got his ad lib uh, plug um, preset in there. So as you can see with this, the effects are endless on what you could do with your vocal and there's a lot to dial in. I do wish that they made it so you could pick your own effects. Right now you have to go through the patches section. My feeling is they probably have an Auto-Tune Effects Pro coming out that you'll be able to do more so stuff like that, but who knows, we'll see. Um, but yeah, you know, even just with this, there's so much you can do to make the vocal sound really unique and different. So let's switch off from this one and check out the auto motion section. Now, I'm using a different vocal for that because I found with just like a singing vocal, uh, it, it didn't work out so well, but <clears throat> I think it's more for like, if you're gonna actually make an effect for this. So so here's this, this um, ad lib part, right? I'm gonna mute the main vocal and just let you hear the ad lib by itself just so you can get a gist of what we got. So it's just a doo 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 doo. Um, and let's loop that. And now, so we switched to auto motion section, still got our key B minor. And now you have this trigger mode, you have patterns, uh, and then you have your effect style. So you can switch it from hard tune, soft tune, or legato. This is, you know, more of an auto tune y effect. This is more a natural effect. You have your tempo over here, which you can either have host sync or, or just free i always host sync it if you have the tempo into your session and then you can change the timing 16th notes eighth notes and you'll see how that affects this once we play it um, then there's a pattern section and so what this is do, doing is is creating a pattern of notes with the vocal um, and there's tons of different ones we'll scroll through um, and lastly here is the trigger mode so this pattern is the th this button here is what happens when you play the pattern now you can either Turn it on and off, um, like live if you're doing automation. There's a toggle, which when you click it on, it will stay on or click it off. And then there's auto where it just stays on the whole time. So let's set this Tron. We got this Tron setting here, hard tune. I'm going to play it for you so you can hear what it's doing. That is cool. Let's hear it again. just so you can remember what it sounded like before. So it completely changed that sound. And now you, you can use this as an instrument you could chop it up, uh, do chop stuff. And, and there's just endless ideas you can do. I'll, I'll let you hear a couple of the different ones. Um, this octave up and down is kind of cool. You got trill hole. I mean, it just changes the vocal completely. So super cool effects. I mean, you could probably spend your whole day just messing with this plugin and vocals. I think this is not gonna be only great for just mixing and stuff. This is gonna be a huge plugin for producers um, and beat makers who, who wanna use their vocal as part of their beat and can do all kinds of things with the vocoder, with the automotion section. So super cool, cool plugin. Uh, they kind of blew me away with this one. I wasn't expecting this to come. So really, really cool. Make sure to check out the demo. And if you need your songs mixed and mastered, hit me up at mixandmastermysong.com. You can also find my courses and mixing presets there as well. See you next time.